Hello. Hi, Brian. Yes. Hey, Brian. It's Roy. Uh, I'm I'm your neighbor over on Lane Creek Circle. Hi. Hi. I don't live there anymore. I'm sorry. What? I don't live there anymore. You don't live on Deer Trail. No, I don't. Oh, well, maybe that's why I can't connect to your Wi-Fi. I've been trying to connect to your Wi-Fi, and it won't work. Why would you want to connect to my Wi-Fi if I I was there? So I can get on the internet, like I used to, but it just, I don't know. There must be a connection problem. I don't know. I moved out of there three years ago, so I'm not sure who you you are or where you got my number from. You don't have to be a jerk about it. It's in the homeowner's directory still. You can take your jerk comment and stick it somewhere, Roy. What? Why would you say that? Hi, everybody. You're listening to The Snowplow Show, episode 485. Today is July 26, 2018, and this episode is sponsored by the Anti-Chris, Julian J., Nagler, Six Week Tenure, and Fun Society Arcade. Those five people made today's show possible by being supporters at patreon.com slash phone losers. Thanks, everyone who's supporting me over there. I don't have any announcements today other than that I did a hobo sode yesterday. And it was okay. I don't know. I'd skip it, really. It wasn't that good. You can find that over on the Patreon. I do have this one video that I want to play for you guys, though. It's a minute and a half long, and somebody named Jay emailed this to me. It's a, um, oh man, what would you call it? Like a public service type thing, or just something to make you aware? It's called Raising the Roof, and it's a Canadian organization. Something to do with homeless shelters. And these people, they went to a nice neighborhood in Canada, and they put up signs on this vacant building that says, Homeless Shelter, coming soon. And Hello. And, and if, you, if you have any questions about this homeless shelter that's opening up, then call this number, and people call this number. Thanks for calling the Jefferson Homeless Shelter. Please leave a detailed message, and we will return your call. Yeah. And then you get all these messages from uppity people being really pissed off that there's a homeless shelter going up in their neighborhood. And it sounds like a lot of the people I've talked to in homeowners association areas. But here you go. Here's a bunch of the messages that people left. Yes, hi. I see that you're uh, putting up a shelter in my neighborhood. I'm quite distressed about this. Yes, hello. I just got a notice about the new shelter going into my neighborhood, and I think it's an awful idea. I have a business, and I don't appreciate having a homeless shelter put up in my neighborhood. It's going to affect my business. It's going to affect my livelihood. Aww, poor guy. How can you possibly, possibly get the permission to ruin a neighborhood by putting a homeless shelter right here? There must be some other... Doesn't pl- this sound like a prank that I would do? I mean, not in real life, but over the phone? Say, hey, guess what? We're putting up a homeless shelter next to you. It's where a homeless shelter could be opened up. Great. Let's move them somewhere down south or up north. Yeah. I don't know what... Let it be someone else's problem. Not in my backyard. This is going to do to the real estate value. I'm a very tolerant person, but this just really is going over the edge. Come on. You know that these are all drug addicts and drunks. You're, you're ruining a perfect neighborhood. Oh, it's no. absolutely absurd. And then the big reveal at the end. They pull down the sign says, you told us you don't want to shelter here. Neither do we. And then I remember there was a big zinger at the end. Yeah, here it comes. What would happen if we were this passionate about ending homelessness? Good one. I'll put a link to this in the show notes if you want to see the video version of this. 
because it has people, you know, like looking at the sign and taking flyers and stuff. It's kind of amusing. Really, I should be theming this entire show around that idea. But no, I'm going to do something completely different instead. Right after this important announcement sent in to me by Reggie. The Federal Communications Commission has issued a prank call warning for your area code. The Federal Communications Commission in Roy, New Mexico has issued a prank call warning for all recipients within your area code until Roy gets bored. Recipients should seek shelter away from cellular, satellite, voice over IP and landline telephones until the threat subsides. Do not attempt to lick butter or flip any switches if directed by your homeowners association or corporate offices until the threat has passed. Federal Communication Commission traces tag the line of farcical calls in an adjacent area code heading your way. Please stay tuned to this podcast for further updates as the situation progresses. On Hobo Soda 118, I did this thing where I renamed people's streets. I said I was with the Homeowners Association and we were renaming their street. I forget which all ideas I used, but I know I told a few people we were changing their street name to Butt Street. And there was a Bill Cosby drive that someone wasn't too happy about. I forget what all happened in that hobo sode. You know, that was a whole three hobo sodes ago, so how would I remember that? But if you haven't heard that one, you should go back and listen to it. And I've been wanting to turn that into a full show. And I asked on the PLA Facebook group, if you were a homeowners association that was changing the name of someone's street to something weird or offensive, what would it be? And there are 410 comments on this post. And I think there's no way I'm going to get to all of these ever. I don't know how much of these are actually ideas and how much of it is just people talking to each other. But one of the first ideas by Dino Alsman is the Butt Street, Butte Street, whatever. Same thing. Roy Bacon wants me to do Gay Way. So I've got a homeowners association list here, and it's one I've been using for a while. But they've all been warned about someone calling in and being the HOA. So I can't say I'm with the HOA on this one. I think I'm just going to say I'm with their city. Because they'd be the ones doing the street changing anyway, you know? Makes more sense this way. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm going to change some street names. This is a very nice neighborhood too, by the way. You know, lots of uppity people. They live on a lake. Very well-kept yards and everything. It's in a homeowners association area. And I cannot say my name is Roy. I'm not allowed to say Roy. I got to remember that. They've all been warned about Roy. Hi, listen closely. Please do not leave a message on this voicemail unless you have no other method of contact. Unfortunately, we only have this because it forces us to in order to have the internet. Therefore, we do not check this line very often. Why give it out? You should have our cell phone numbers, perhaps our email. Yeah, just... Don't tell people your home number and people won't call it. Why have a machine hooked up? It was clearly a machine. What's wrong with you people? Your internet company does not require you to have an answering machine hooked up to the line. I don't think. That'd be weird. Hello? Hello, Sherry? Yes. Hi, it's Mr. Dabalina from the city of... Yes? I needed to let you know we're going to be changing the name of your street. You're going to change the name of our street? Why is that? Uh, you know, it's just we're just updating things, making things more modern. You're going to live on Gay Way. You want to spell that for me? Sure, G-A-Y, and then Way. Gay Way? Yep, Gay Way. Oh, boy, I can't wait for that one. Why not? Why, why do you say that? Well, I just think it's silly to change names of streets, that's all. Oh, yeah, well, you know, it's just, just, just updating it for the new millennia. Uh, we got to represent all, all types of people, all races, all religions, and you get the gay street. That's great. But Thank you. At least you don't get the lesbian street, right? Because that'd be, you know, that sounds... Get what? Well, because one street over from you, it's going to be called Lesbian Drive. Oh, it is not. Yeah, it don't is. Don't give me that. No, you're, I think this is nothing more than a joke. Why would it be a joke? Why would the city call and joke with you? Because I don't think the city's ready for this. What's that supposed I, to I mean? know the neighborhood isn't, so, oh, you know. 
Let's well, just let it go, okay? Well, well no, they I'll don't. Wait, I'll wait for formal uh, notice, notification. Well, you'll get it when you see the street signs change down on your road. Yeah, right. Thanks. But it's happening. Okay. You'll see. <laughs> All right. Goodbye. All right. Bye. That was Roy Bacon's idea. Let's see. We got Knockers Boulevard, Hobo Way, Glory Hole Avenue, Dummy Circle. <laughs> I remember someone said Poor Street, and I really want to do that one. I was wanting to do these in order, but I really want to do Poor Street, Starbucks Street. I did that one on the Hobo Sode, or I think I said I was changing the name of their homeowners association to Starbucks HOA or something, and they really didn't like that. Man, did I play a clip of that Hobo Sode to you guys? Because I remember the Starbucks lady getting very upset about the whole thing. Hello? Hello, Shannon? No, he's busy. Can I take a message? Um, well, this is Mr. Dabalina from the city of... Mm -hmm. I needed to let you know we're going to be changing the name of your street starting on September 1st. Really? Yes. So um, I'm just calling to let you know. That you'll probably get something in the mail about it soon, and they'll be changing the street signs in August. And we haven't heard anything about this at Lake. Oh, yeah. Well, that, that's why I'm calling you, so you know. You, you won't be surprised when it happens, but September 1st is when the, the official change takes place. You will no longer live well, on Lincoln Hills. Well, dandy, we get to change all of our mail. Brilliant. Okay, thanks. Well, well, you know, the post office, they'll still deliver. Hello? She can let me tell her the street name. Doesn't she want to know the street name? Yeah. Hello? Oh, hello. Uh, she hung up on me before I was finished. I needed to tell you what your new oh, street... You are finished because is in county, and we're in county. So you don't have any authority to change anything in oh, another county. Yes, we do. You don't know what you're talking no, you about. Crap. Am I doing this wrong? I mean, they live in the city that I said I'm from, but apparently I'm the wrong county. I don't know. I'm just going to stick with what I'm doing and see if anyone else calls me out on it. Hello. Hello, Mrs. Davis. Yes. Hi, it's uh, Mr. Dabalina from the city of... Yes. Uh, I just needed to let you know we're going to be changing the name of your street on September 1st. Uh, what? We're, we're going to be changing the name of your street. So you'll no... My... Yeah, you'll no longer live on Rock Road. So I have to change everything to a new address? Yeah, you'll have to alert everyone about your new street name. Uh, we're going to be what changing... What if I don't want to? That's crazy. Well, we're Why are you changing it? It's just, um, it's like a sponsorship. Uh, Burger King is sponsoring your street. You're going to live at 15 Burger King Road? I don't want to live at 15 Burger King Road. And I don't want to changing my address. Yeah, well, it's, That's crazy. It's just a sponsorship thing we're doing. We're trying to get them to build... I don't care. I don't want to live at Burger King Road, and I don't want to change my address. Well, it's Thank a, you. It's a Bye. Well, no, you have to, ma'am. All right, vote against Burger King, I guess. Mr. Big says in this thread that a local city named a road Kmart Way to convince Kmart to open a local Super Kmart there. And then the Kmart closed within a year, and they ended up changing it to Lowe's Way for the same reason. And he says road sponsorship is stupid and dumb and therefore a great idea. That's in response to Ryan Hill saying any business name, which is a great idea. Everybody would hate living on a street named after a business. That'd be stupid. I don't blame Kathy for being pissed off and just hanging up on me. Hello? Hi, Mrs. Field? Yes? It's Roy from county I'm, I'm with the street department yes and i need to let you know we're going to be changing the name of your street on september 1st you're kidding nope <laughs> this is in brink call <laughs> why would you say that so what's it going to be uh you're going to live on burger king road stop it <laughs> what do you mean stop it who is this it, it's it's roy from the County Street Department. Burger King. Yeah, it's it's the same house number, three one nine five eight Burger King Road. This is Road. a great prank. 
but <laughs> I'm not believing it. Why do you say? Why do you think it's a prank? Like, what, who would make a prank call like this? Um, someone I know. I I can't think of who it is, but it's somebody I know. Oh, I don't think so. I'm like, maybe you should just call back the street department and see if it's real, and you'll find out it is. There, or, now, now I haven't even heard of a street department. Or, or like look, there's county uh, roads and C dot. This is a great prank. Yeah, well, you don't work here, so you don't know how our departments are. No, this is true. I don't work there. Okay, look, I'll be honest with you, ma'am. I've been calling people from the phone book and telling them this, and most of them get really, really pissed off that I'm changing their street name. I'm, well, I'm not mad. Darn it. I, I think this is a total joke. Yeah, I think it's yeah. a good one. It's, it's a good <laughs> joke. It, you ruined it, though, by not getting angry with me. I'm sorry. Is this some radio thing? No, no, I, I'm just some bored person, lives here in town. Thought I'd tell everyone their, their street names. Were you again. taking a survey on how many people get ticked off? Yeah, I should turn it into like a psychological study, I think. Well, I'm in that business. I could help you. <laughs> you know what people don't like? They don't like being told that they're going to live on Poor Street. On, on what? Burger King Street? No, Poor Street. Like, you know, instead of rich, Poor, poor Street. <laughs> it really upsets them for some reason. I don't know why. You are so funny. Now, oh, thanks. You apparently do, you need a job or something. Yeah, yeah, you know, it, it's something to do. Pass away the hours in the daytime. Okay, well, good job. You've done a great job with this prank. Well, yeah, thank you. Not with you, but you know, with other people, it's been fun. Okay. <laughs> but you're, you're pretty awesome, though. Thanks. Bye. Bye. What a nice lady. And no, actually, I've not upset anybody with the poor street thing. I just couldn't think of any other good examples to give her. Oh, I should have told her about Bill Cosby Street. I bet she would have loved that one. I should call her back. By the way, I've moved away from that first directory. I decided to just delete that directory. I only called maybe half of the numbers out of it. It was a huge directory. But they've been warned about me several times, and people were not believing me at all. Not that they seem to be on this one either, but... I just deleted the whole directory. I'm not going to use it anymore. It's the one I tried to use on the Dreams show, too, and nothing was working out. And I'm having slightly better luck with this directory, but nobody's answering. This is a directory full of business people. And I guess they're all just kind of busy doing their business stuff. Hello? Hi, Mrs. Harris? Yeah, uh, yeah, well, one of them. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's Mr. Dabalina from the County Street Department. Okay. And I'm calling to let you know we're going to be changing the name of your street. You're no longer going to live on Baldy Lane. Oh, wow. Okay. Yep. Uh, you are going to live on Dabalina Lane. Really? Yep. Why are they changing it? Uh, it's just, you know, a few of us here in the department decided that that was kind of a stu- well, it's kind of a, an insulting name, really. Baldy Lane? Yeah, no, it's just been that way for 20 years. When yeah. are they making this in effect? Uh, it's going to be September 1st. They're going to change all the street signs, and you'll have like a year to uh, get everyone updated. It'll still come to your house if it's sent to the old address, <laughs> but... Dabolina. Well, yeah. let me get the spelling of it because it's actually my mom and my dad that live on here. Okay. I'm also a Miss Harris, but I'm just house sitting right now. So, Dabolina, how do you spell that? Uh, D O B A L I N A. That's my last name. I'm the one that chose the name. Okay. Well, there you go. Yep. <laughs> And I didn't appreciate the, the baldy... Like, every time I look at that, it, it makes me feel bad because my hair is thinning fast. Wow. And it's not an... It, well, it's interesting because all of the other streets are named after mountains. Yeah, but this one's called Baldy. There is a so, Baldy Mountain. Yeah, but it's... I don't know. It just makes me feel bad when I see it because I work in the street department and I have to see that every day. When I'm, well, I'm... <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Really, All right, so are they going to send some paperwork, too? Yeah, yeah, if they haven't got it already, it should be there soon. But um, they'll notice the new street signs go up on September 1st. New street signs. Okay. Uh, do they get to a petition or appeal, or is it already a done deal? No, I went ahead and pushed it through myself since I work here in the department. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. 
No, to like I just you know I I I I have the paperwork here and I have access to the computer. It's it's done. Okay, I don't know if they'll be happy about that, but all right. Yeah, well, at least I don't have to see, uh, you know, that street that that word anymore <laughs> all the time when I go through my paperwork. Now it'll say right. Dabalina. Well, you know, I, I at least one person's feeling better about it. So yep. there you go. Yep, that's all well, that matters. Letting us know. No problem. <laughs all> right, <laughs> have bye. a nice day. Bye. I think I would have gotten a better reaction if they were actually home. But that was an idea by Alexander Kronk, Dabalina Drive. I think I want to try that one again, though, because she didn't even live there. She doesn't care. Hello? Hello, Jim? Yes. Hey there. It's uh, Roy from the County Street Department. Yes. And I need to let you know that we're going to be changing the name of your street on September 1st. Oh, goodness. To what? Uh, you're going to, it looks like uh, you live on right now. You're going to live Oh, no, we, we moved from Ah, shit. Okay, I guess you don't need me to call you then. Well, that's okay. Uh, we just recently sold our house. Oh, I see. What are, they, what are you going to call it? Oh, they're going to change it to uh, 4182 Street Road. Really? Yep. The whole street? Yeah, yeah, it's not going to be called anymore. It's going to be called street, but it'll be oh. a road, so it's street road. Oh, okay. So All right. It's 4182 well, Street Road. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. I mean, what what the fuck does mean, right? Well, I don't know. Yeah, uh, nobody knows. We'll so see. We're going to simplify okay, it. Thank you. We're going to simplify it. We're going to call it Street Road. Okay, that's unusual, but uh, whatever. Thank you. Yeah, I, I thought it up, so you know, don't call it unusual. It's it's, it's easier. Okay. I don't, I don't appreciate right. the well, attitude. We'll see what the neighbors say. Yeah. Well, who cares what they say? It's done. It's been pushed through. It's in the computer. It's happening. September first. They're changing. Well, They're very cha good. Yeah. It is well, good. Thanks for calling. Sure. No problem. Thanks for the attitude, right. Mister Attitude. All right. All right. Bye, bye Jim. Bye. That was an idea of Paul Ferreira's on the Facebook Street Road. How about Trump Lane? That's Alex's idea. But if we get a Trump supporter, it's less funny. Oh, here's a good one. Klansman Crossing. That's another one from Ryan. Hello. Hello, Mr. MacArthur. Yes. Hi, this is Mr. Dabalina from the... County Street Department. Yeah. And I'm calling to let you know we're going to be changing the name of your street starting on September 1st. You're going to have a new... Oh, really? Yeah, you're going to have a new street name. What's it going to be? Uh, it's going to be 6997 Dabalina Drive. Dabalina? Yeah. Why, why are you changing the name? Well, that's my last name. Dabalina Drive. I work here in the street department, so I got to help name the streets. Uh huh. So you're going to have Doblina Drive. Oh, you were kidding me. Nope. So uh, you'll you'll need to change. Um, you know, give everyone your new address if anyone's writing to you. Have all your oh Jesus that <laughs> utility bills changed. So uh. Is there going to be a hearing about this or something? Oh, no. No, I work here in the street department, so I was able to just push it through on the computer and just, you know, bypass all that stuff. Because nobody really knows what, what your street name means anyway, so we're just changing it to Dabalina. Well, the whole development is called the... I know, but... So, yeah, you, you can just have that, and um, your street name can be something else. It can be Dabalina Drive. Named, oh, come on. Named, you after, be named, me. named after yours truly. We all voted on it here in the street department. Well, how about the county commissioners and, uh, you know, the, the board and all that? I mean, you, they can change the name of our street without even consulting us? Yeah, well, we, we asked and they seemed okay with it. We just pushed it through on the computer. Because we have access to the computer here, so we just pushed it through, 
and it's going to take effect on September 1st. They've already printed up the new street sign names. They're going to be changing them all up and down the street. They're going to change it to Dobelina Drive. It's all done. <laughs> okay, well... Um Hmm. We're, we're naming the streets out there, like in that area, uh, after, you know, like people that work here in the department. Like, do you know Meadow Drive? Yeah. That's going to be Tompkinson Drive. After my coworker Chris Tompkinson. Well, that does not seem fair. Fair to who? Uh, hmm? What do you mean fair? Fair. I mean that... A couple of guys that work in the street department can change the name of a street. Well, yeah, we work in the street department. What are we supposed to do? This is what you're we... supposed to mind your own damn business. That's what you're supposed to do. No, we're supposed to work on the streets, and that's what we're doing. <laughs> oh, come on. This has got to be some kind of joke. You're not, you're, you're not serious. No, I wouldn't joke about something like this. I take my job very seriously. It's just... You know, nobody likes the, the street name of Timbers anyway. We asked some people on the street, and they said, yeah, we think it's stupid. And we just, we went ahead and... Well, I'll tell you, you're going to have uh, 24 families that are really pissed if, if this is true. No, I don't think so. It's Dobelina Drive. It sounds better. It rolls off the tongue better. <laughs> Who is this? I mean... This has got to be a joke. I wouldn't joke about something like this. I already told you. I take my job very seriously. Yeah, no, I understand that. Mm -hmm. Okay, well. Um, but September 1st, you'll, you'll see that it's not a joke when the street signs change. Yeah, you're the, right. Yeah. The street department's going to be out there replacing the signs. Okay, well, uh... I'm not sure what to do about this, but... Uh, oh, there's nothing you can do. It, it's done. Like, if may, maybe um, if you have a problem with it, you should get a job in the street department, and you can maybe change it back in the future when we're not around anymore. <laughs> okay, well, right. Uh, hmm. Nothing to get upset over, though. It's just a street name. It's not like we're painting your house or anything. Look... The post office changed my address from to a couple of you know, about three years ago, mm -hmm. maybe longer. Yeah. And uh, I mean, I didn't get mail for for months. Yeah. Because it was sending it all to. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, that happens. Um, you, the same thing's probably going to happen this time too, when you live on Dobelina Drive. Uh-huh, okay, well. But um, we're not changing your house number, so you got to look on the bright side. Yeah, right, absolutely, no question about that. Yep. Okay, all righty, well, I'll have, to, I'll have to call the county somehow and change that. Change what? See what I can do about bringing some horsepower into this, other than a couple of guys that work on the street department. Well, it's not a couple of us, there's five of us here. Big deal. Yeah, I mean it's it's done. There's nothing you can do. It's been done. Like uh, you, you okay. should have taken more more of an interest in local affairs, and you would have known this is coming. How, how would I have known that? I don't know. Attend the, the city meetings and stuff. Stop being mm -hmm. such a couch potato, you know. Yeah. Right. Okay. Read well. the paper. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. Well, you're welcome for letting you know. So you know you got a month's notice, more than a month's notice. All right, there. I can be done with that idea. Hello. Hi, Mr. McGuire. Speaking. Hello, it's Mr. Dabalina from the <laughs> County Street Department. Yes. And I'm calling to let you know we're going to be changing the name of your street. On September 1st, you're going to have a brand new street name that you live on. What's it going to be? Uh, it's going to be 30200 
Klansmen Crossing. Um, is there an official notice that's going to be sent out? Because that's going to, you know, uh, mortgages and everything are going to have to be notified. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're going to have to alert your, uh, you know, electric company and just, you know, all the utilities and stuff. Why Look. Why are they changing it from Scenic Drive to Klansman Crossing? Uh, just They're just updating it. Like, Klansman Crossing is more historical, and Scenic Drive just doesn't really make much sense. Like, what's that even mean, you know? What do you mean, what's it even mean? It's been here since the 1930s. Yeah, but what's it mean? It's, are, are you familiar with the hotel? No, it sounds boring. But like Klansman okay. Crossing, that refers to... Uh, Send me, American... uh, you know what? I don't even believe you. Send me an official notice. Uh, hey, don't make demands on me. I, I'm just calling to let you know, and you will know that this is real when you see the new street signs going up. Well, you know, I mean, I, I can't believe how rude you are saying that's boring, that doesn't even know what it means when it's a big historical part of the community. Well, so is Klansman Crossing. It's a part well, of America. I can tell you the same thing. I've never heard of it. What is that supposed to mean? Oh, it, it ref- Those it's are your ref- words, buddy. It's, it's, hey, it's referring to the Ku Klux Klan and Klansman Crossing and, you know, just... Hey, Klan- fuck you. Why, why would you say that? Oh, all right. Not a fan of Klansman Crossing. Sorry, Ryan. We've got Make America Great Again by Jennifer... Oh, yeah, I never did Trump Lane or whatever, did I? Wrong Street, Homeless Lane. Oh, Homeless Lane is my idea, you guys. Isn't that a great idea? That seems like a street name that people would hate. Homeless Lane. Hello. Hello, Bob. Yeah. Hey, it's Mr. Dabalina from the County Street Department. Uh, yeah. I'm calling to let you know we're going to be changing the name of your street. On September 1st, you're going to have a new street name. And it will be? Uh, it will be Homeless Drive. Not Meadow Drive? No, no, not Meadow Drive anymore. From now on, you will live at Homeless Drive. Homewood? Homeless. You know, like a homeless person? Like a street bum? You're shitting me. No. What, why would you say that word to me? Well, I, this just sounds like complete, complete nonsense. Well, it, it's just a way to honor, to honor the homeless, you know? They just want to change it to Homeless Drive, because what does Meadow Drive mean, really? It, it doesn't have really any meaning behind it. Sure it, it does. Like what? It was a meadow. Yeah, it was. Not anymore. Well, uh, you, you put a... Uh, a street right down the right down the length of it, and uh, yeah, well, it's, it's, and, and 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 right down the middle, and called it Meadow Drive. Why not? Well, they're they're thinking about opening up a homeless shelter um, on part of your street there, and we figure this might help them decide to do it if we rename your your street to Homeless Drive. Boy, are you kidding me? No. Right? <laughs> this, this sounds like a complete hoax. Oh, no, I, I wouldn't hoax. I'm a Christian. Uh, this is... Come on. It's, who are it, you? It's not a big deal. They're just... Gonna, who are you? What do you mean, who am I? This is Mr. Dabalina from the street department. Dabalina? Yeah. Frank Dabalina. Uh, James? No, Frank... Dabalina. Frank? And it's, it's not a big deal. Just, you know, just update everyone. Let them know that you have a new address and, you know, change your utility addresses and just just update everyone. It's not a big deal. Spell you, it out, please. Dabalina. Yeah, D-O-B-A-L-I-N-A, I think. L-I-N-A. Yeah, from the street department. I'm just letting you know, you live on Homeless Drive now. This is some kind of weird. What's your... Let's see. Some kind of weird? Yeah. What? I, why would you say that? that? That's mean. I'm just doing my job. 
You're bullshitting me. No, I'm not. Why would I do that? You're bullshitting me. Who? Who? This is, not a, this is not a process you call up that 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 happens by when you just call somebody up. No, it, it is now. You know, welcome to 2018. This is how we do things now. How you do things now. Yeah, and I'm in the street department, so what I say goes. You live on Homeless Drive now. Would you not call me back? No, I, this is the one call I'm making to you to okay, let you know. Okay, well, that's all I want because I... That's all I'm, you get. I, I'm ignoring it. Unless we, unless we change your street name again on a whim... We'll call you back, but nope, I think you're just going to be Homeless Drive forever. New home of the homeless shelter. Don't call, don't call me back. I, I, I already told you I'm, not, is, I'm not going this to. This is complete crap. You're complete crap. What a rude person. That was a great idea, Brad, from the Facebook group. Good job on that one. Let's see. High Street. Another one for Donald Trump Way. Meth Way, Poor Boulevard. Did I ever get that one to work? I know I tried it out a couple times, and I think I deleted the calls already because they weren't any good. I can't remember if I did any for Poor Boulevard that, that worked out. Butte Street, Comcast Boulevard, Walmart Way. I should do a Walmart Way. That sounds fun. Oh. Hi, Mrs. Myers. Yes. Hi there. It's Mr. Dabalina from the <laughs> County Street Department. Yes. And I'm calling to let you know we're going to be changing the name of your street on September 1st. You're going to have a new street name. What do you think I live on? Uh, S Drive. What are you changing it to? Uh, you're going to live at 4239 Walmart Way. Seriously? Yes. And um, you'll just Are you going to say something in writing? Uh, they, I think they already did. If they didn't, it should be there soon. But September 1st, that's when they're going to change the street signs. And you just need to let everyone know the, about your new address, you know, utilities and all that. That's ridiculous. Okay. It's, it's hard Thank to hear you. you. What was that? No, it's just, so there's another street that's near us because we always get the, the mail's always getting mixed up. Mm -hmm. And um, it's... Uh, are you changing the other streets in the neighborhood? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're changing a lot of them. You're going to live on Walmart Way. Um, like, I don't know if you know where uh, Elk Drive is, for example. They're going to be Burger King Drive. We're changing them all what? to... Uh, we're, we're letting companies sponsor. Kidding, right? No, no, I wouldn't kid about this. We're just doing uh, company sponsors. Like a <laughs> road, that's going to be Starbucks Road. Okay, whatever. All right. What do you mean, whatever? Uh, what I it's been done, right? Yeah, yeah, it's done. You don't get All a right. choice. Yep. So, so just let everyone know you live at four two three nine Walmart Way. So yeah, I'll wait for the street sign to be changed. But and I'll we never got anything in writing. So could you send me something in writing? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm sure you'll get something, or, or just look in the paper or on the website or whatever. No, I want something from the county. So does that mean the house title and everything changes? Yep, yep. You're going to want to contact your, your mortgage lender and all that stuff. Let them know oh, you have a new... Have a well, whatever, you okay. know, whatever. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Thanks for letting me know. You're welcome. Get, get a new phone. Yours sucks. I can barely hear you. Hello? Hello, Mrs. Moore? Yes. Hey there. It's Mr. Dabalina from the <laughs> County Street Department. Yes. Oh, thanks. You're Are welcome. you going to come? Oh, oh, I'm calling to let you know. What, what do you mean, come for what? Our culvert is plugged up under, uh, under our driveway, and usually road and county comes and, and digs it out. Oh, yeah. So, can, so tell me, why are you calling? Uh, well, we're going to be changing the name of your street. Uh, you're not going to live on Gulch Road anymore? Well, where, where are we going to live? Um, well, you're going to live in the same place. It's just uh, we're going to No, I know. What's it going to be called? Uh, it's going to be called Walmart Road. What? Yeah. Are you serious? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're, doing, we're changing a lot of the street names there in that area. They're all going to be sponsored names. It's just something new we're trying out. 
So there's like a Walmart road. There's a Burger King drive. You're, you must there's, be kidding. Oh, no, I wouldn't kid about this. I take my job very seriously, ma'am. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Well, thanks but, for the notification. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, you're going to want to let everyone know, like, if they send you any letters and all your utilities and stuff, that you now live at 1150 Walmart Road. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. Do, are you, do you approve of the change? I mean, like, you, it sounds good, right? No, you, I don't like it at all. Well, it sounds better. I much, pre I much prefer Gulch. Yeah, but, like, what's that even mean? It's a, kind of a dumb name, really. Yeah, but Walmart sounds so... Um, Corporate-y? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, what's wrong with that? It's, it's, it's not... I like woodsy, evergreen kind of stuff. Oh, is, is that what... I like, I like the gulch. I think that's just poetic. Oh, I didn't even know what that meant. Like, it, it sounded kind of gross to me. Gulch? Ugh. Ugh. Oh, stop it. Well, really? <laughs> Walmart sounds a lot more pleasant than that. Oh, well... That's a difference in our thinking. I guess so. All right. Well, uh, you're, you're welcome for letting you know. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. I don't know if that one was worth keeping or not. It wasn't that funny, was it? And, and at this point, I don't even remember. Did I get a good Walmart call yet? Maybe I'm just going to move on. AT&T Avenue. That would be a good one. I'm definitely going to come back to this list again. Anus Alley. That's from Daryl. I like that one, but I don't think anyone's going to believe that one. I mean, not that people are barely even believing what I'm saying as it is. I don't know. Maybe I'll give that one a try. Hello, it's Ted. Hey, Ted. This is Mr. Dabalina from the County Street Department. Oh. Hello. Um, yeah. I'm on, yes. You're on what? Street Department. Oh, well, let's see. I'm on vacation up here in British Columbia. Oh, it's, it's um, okay. I, I, I just need to let you know about something real quick. So, okay, go ahead. We're going to be changing the name of your street. Like you're never, you're you're no Deep longer, Forest. huh? Oh, which from what to what? Uh, well, you live on <laughs> road right now. We're going to change that. You're going to live at three three four two four Anus Alley. Say again. Uh, Anus Alley. That's going to be your new street name. A N U S and then <laughs> Alley. A N E S Alley. A N. Why? Why are you changing? Uh, it's just you know yeah. we we voted on it. We decided that was a better name. I mean, what does d road really even mean? But it, it's anus, like well, a. Well, I tell you, it's on. The, huh? Is there an appeal process for this? Oh no, it's already done. They're gonna put the new street signs up on September first. But did you get the well, spelling? It's kind of uh, did you get the spelling right? A N U S. <laughs> okay, so it's a joke. No, no. Okay, I, what are you calling me really about? No, I wouldn't joke about this. It's, it's, that's your new street Well, you name. know, I, I happen to be a physician, and that's an anatomical part yeah, of the so body. You'd think you'd like so, it then. Well, I think I'll hang up. Thank you. Why? Why are you hanging up? That physician didn't appreciate your anus joke, Daryl. I tried, though, right? Oh, here's one that people might not like. AR-15 Way. We can say that the NRA sponsored their street. That's an idea from Rick. It's to honor all of the people that have died from AR-15s, you know? Hello? Hi there. Hello? Hi, um, Mrs. Lamomly? It's, it's Mr. Dabalina from the street department. <laughs> you definitely have the wrong number. Why do you say that? Why do I say that? Yeah. You're from the street department? Yeah. What's your problem? You have the wrong number. I'm not the one with the problem. Y yes, you are. I'm, I'm just trying to let you know about something, and, and you're, you're just giving me an attitude. I don't understand the problem. You're calling the wrong person. You have the wrong number. Th this isn't the Parks residence? It is not. Okay, well, why are you freaking out at me? I I'm just trying to do my job here, lady. Jeez. So I was scrolling through the document as she picked up, and then I forgot what her name was. And I thought I had it right, but I couldn't pronounce whatever it was. But then I did find it at the end, and it is Parks. That's the last name, is Parks. Maybe she just lied because she didn't want to be wrong at that point, because she'd give me such an attitude. Hello. Hello, Mr. Stansbury. 
Yeah. Hey there, it's Mr. Dabalina from the <laughs> County Street Department. Um, I'm calling. Street Department, okay. Yep, I'm calling to let you know we're going to be changing the name of your street on September 1st. You're no longer going to live um, on, on Drive. Well, that's a problem. Why is that? I have lots of checks and stuff that say that. Oh, yeah, you're going to have to change all of those. Uh, but on September Can 1st. you send a letter stating? You guys send a letter out about that? Uh, I, sure. I, I, I can't believe you guys are doing that. I don't know why you'd be doing that. Oh, it, it's just a thing we're doing. We're doing like sponsored street names from now on. So you're not going to live on Drive anymore. You're going to live at 1943 AR15 Drive. What's the name of it? AR15 Drive. There's a hyphen in between. AR-15, like the gun. Your street's being sponsored by the... I find that hard to believe, so send me a letter. Oh, well, you know what? You'll believe it on September 1st when they change your street signs and you stop getting your mail. Okay, well, you should you should send me a letter stating all that. Um, I can't believe you kind of wouldn't send me a letter. Yeah, well, we probably sent one already. You probably just thought it was junk mail or something. No, I wouldn't have thought that from a county thing. Okay, well, um, I think I'm not going to send one just because of your attitude, your shitty attitude. I'm just so I'm just going to let you know by phone. I, I don't know. I don't and know. you will see the street I signs. I don't know who the fuck this is, but I bet you're not. I bet you're just fucking lying to me and pulling my pulling my leg. Why would I lie about this? That that'd be a stupid lie. It doesn't make any sense. Well, I don't know who the hell you are. Well, I already told you, you who the hell I am. Very official. You don't sound very official cursing at me and shit like that, dude. Well, you started it with your shitty attitude. No, no, you, you're the one that said that. I can have whatever attitude I want when you're telling me something like this. I'm the one that said you're what? You're the one that start, started the cursing. No, no, you started with the shitty attitude, so, like, right can away. Can I talk to your supervisor? No, no why would I put my supervisor on? You're just going to try and tattle on me. Well, I'm not going to tattle on you. I'm going to tell him what you did. That, that's so called tattling. <laughs> How, how's that any well, different? I'll be calling the county back. Oh, good. Do it. I dare you. Yeah. What, what, what's your name? He's not. Oh, like I'm going to tell you that? No. It, like if I tell you my name, you'll you'll <laughs> yeah. tell him what my name is. Fuck that shit, man. You guys, the list is almost through. I might be done because there's less than ten people left. I haven't gotten a lot of answers, but I've been at this for like three hours now. I got up early today so I could do a show before it got too hot up here and the heat chased me out of the room. I got up at six thirty this morning, but it's starting to get hot up here. And I haven't even gotten through, like, even a small portion of this list, you know, of all these suggestions from the Facebook group. If you listen to the hobo sode that I did yesterday, you'll know that Frankie McDonald, he sent a personal weather report to me telling me to be prepared because Oregon's getting a heat wave. And holy shit, is he right? It's going to be in the upper 90s again today. And I can usually last, like, another hour or two up here. But after that, I have to leave the room. It's too hot. I'm a huge wimp. I can't handle the heat. I remember somebody had this idea, which I thought was hilarious, but I can't find it in this list. But they said that instead of having street signs, we should hire sign spinners on their street, which doesn't make any sense at all, but I love that idea. Tell them you're renaming their streets to characters from Dallas. Oh, come on. That's not believable. Who would do that? Banchoed Boulevard. Oh, here's where I posted a clip. Uh, it's in this thread here on Facebook. But I posted two minutes of a call of the lady I was talking about earlier. Here, I'm going to go ahead and play this. I don't Hello. know if I'll play the whole thing. Hello, Donna? Yes. Hey there. It's Doug from the Homeowners Association. Yes. And I'm calling to let you know we're going to be changing the name of your street. I usually don't play, like, you know, giant clips of hobo sods like this. But I loved that call so much that I just had to put it up. I think I put this on Twitter. That's why it's less than two minutes long. But I think it was like a nine-minute call or Changing something. Changing the name of my street? Yep. Okay. Um, like starting on August 15th. That's when the change takes place. You're going to live on, on Brown Town Court. Why? They're just changing the name. They're updating the name of the streets, making them more modern and everything. What does what does Brown Town have to do with anything? Uh, it's just a, you know, it's just a saying. It's something popular with the kids these days. You know, take you down to Brown uh, Town. It's it's from a song lyric. 
Oh, we're not be. enthused about it. No, that's foolishness, in my opinion. That, that didn't. And then, it, then they have to change the sign and yeah, it's, change. It's all taken care of. They're going to change all the sign names. Uh, August fifteenth. They're changing a lot of the street names in your area. I'm not enthused. Like, I'm not enthused at all. But, but they're not changing the whole property. Well, they're going to change the name of the homeowners association to Starbucks. <laughs> Why? Why? There's, Why? Because they're. Spon- I don't like any of it. They're, they're sponsoring it. Starbucks is sponsoring it. I don't Poor care. Lady. I, you know, I don't really need a sponsor, do I? Well, it saves us do money. Do I need a sponsor? What's that? Do I need a sponsor? Well, I mean, you get one whether you need it or not. It's just going to save us money, you know? <laughs> whether I need it or not, I'm going to get a sign change, and I'm going to get a, a change. Yeah. yeah it's, it's not going to be anymore. It's going to be whatever. Star Wars Bank. It's going to be Starbucks Lake. Whoopee. Whoopee, whoopee, whoopee. I'm not enthused about any of it. Why are you saying whoopee, then? I am not enthused because about any of it. Because it stinks. It really does. This is democracy at work. That husband is awesome. Yeah, I forget how much longer that one went on, but if you want to hear the rest of that, you should be a supporter over at patreon.com slash phone losers. The entire call is up on there. You can hear that lady say whoopee, whoopee, whoopee. Vagabond Lane, Hepatitis Drive. That's a good idea, Andrew. Trap House Lane. I think a lot of people wouldn't know what a trap house is. Planned Parenthood Drive. That's Rick's idea. That's a good one. <laughs> Let's try a few more of these, though. I have exactly 11 numbers left. Let's see if any of these people answer. I haven't had a lot of answers on these. Hello? Hi, Mr. Steger. Yes. This is uh, Mr. Dabalina from the <laughs> County Street Department. Yep. And I'm calling to let you know we're going to be changing the name of your street on September 1st. That's interesting because I don't live in <laughs> County. Yeah, I know, but we take care of the street names in your area. You know, it's like right there on the border. They, they changed some of the, the cities over a few years ago, if you remember. Okay, so what's, what, what's it going to be? Uh, you're going you're gonna to live at 2413 Hepatitis Road. Yeah, right, okay. <laughs> what do you mean, yeah, right? <laughs> Who am I talking to? Uh, this is Mr. Dabalina from the street department. I already told you that. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah, All right. Yeah, that's good with us. All right. Go ahead and do it. <laughs> yep, okay, we will. All right. You'll yep. see. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So there's been some confusion with some of these. Earlier, you heard a guy mention that he was in one city, and then the county decided that he wasn't in that city. He was in a different city. I probably bleeped out the city names. And then a few people have told me I'm saying the wrong county, but I'm sure I'm saying the right county. They don't know what they're talking about even though they live there, and I don't. Hello? Hi, Mrs. Temple? Yes? Hi there, it's Mr. Dabalina from the County Street Department. Yes? And I'm calling to let you know we're going to be changing the name of your street on September 1st. (laughs) You're pulling my leg. Who is this? It's Mr. Dabalina from the Street Department. I'm not pulling your leg, ma'am. I'm just calling to let you know. Okay, why are you calling me to let me know that our street name's going to be changed. Why aren't you calling our association or something? Well, we're supposed to call the residents on the street and let them know. Everyone on on North... Okay, what's the name of our... What's the new name of our street? Uh, You're going to live on... on Hepatitis Lane. Uh, Oh, (laughs) get... Who is this? (laughs) Wait, I think you need to talk to my husband. Well, don't tell him it's a joke, Okay. This could be interesting. <laughs> okay. Let, right. Give me your name and phone number and well, I'm going to call you back. No, just put your husband on the phone. <laughs> he'll, he'll listen to reason. Put him on. <laughs> okay. Who put, okay. Who put you up to this? Nobody. I'm in the street department. Can you just put your husband on? I think you're high. <laughs> Well, at least I have caller ID. I can see where you're calling Yeah, from. but you've been drinking too much. Nobody's going to believe you. <laughs> okay. 
So, uh, moving forward, yeah, what can I help you with? Just put your husband on the phone. I need to talk to your okay. husband. Okay. I need to talk to the man of the house. Okay. He wants me to hang up. Sorry. No, Bye. no, put him on. Put him on. Don't listen to him. Darn it. I was going to try and convince him that his wife's crazy. Nobody believes this hepatitis thing. Way to go, Andrew. Hello? Hi, Mrs. Wallace. Yes? It's Mr. Dabalina from the County Street Department. Uh-huh. And I'm calling to let you know we're going to be changing the name of your street on September 1st. Okay. Why? Um, we're just updating all the street names because, you know, a lot of the street names right now, they sound kind of old. <laughs> What's it going to so, be? Uh, well, you're going to live at 2852 Hepatitis Drive. What? Hepatitis? Yeah, your street's being sponsored by Planned Parenthood. We're doing street sponsor names now. Well, um, what if we want to protest? Uh, well, it's too late. We've already signed the paperwork, and like Planned Parenthood can pretty much name your street anything they want. They can only change it once every 10 years, though. We're, we've been hill for 25 years. Yeah, so it's about time for a change, right? And are they doing all the streets in our complex? Oh, no, not Planned Parenthood. They only have yours. So, like, um, Why? like do you know Way? Yeah. Um, they're renaming that to AR-15 Way. That, that one's sponsored by the NRA. When did, when did all this become... Uh, uh, they've been, we've been negotiating with all these companies for uh, a couple of years now. Is this the and first? And how come we didn't know anything about it? I've never seen anything. Uh, probably because... Hepatitis you, Drive. Where, where did that, I mean, that's... What's that? That's absurd. W what's absurd? Hepatitis. Well, that's a disease. I know, it's, but, you know, they're trying to raise awareness for it. So you're going to live on Hepatitis Drive. What, what is your name again? Uh, my name is Mr. Dabalina. And, and, and what, what is your position at? Uh, I just work here in the street department. I'm just one of the workers here. I'm just calling up everybody on your street, letting them know that they now live on Hepatitis Drive. You need to update your address with your utility companies and your friends oh, and no, family. No, no, no. What, what? Why are you saying no? Um, i got to talk to some people. Like who? Thanks for the info. What, what is your phone number? Uh, or who do I talk to? Uh, just, you know, anyone in the street department. Anyone can help you. Anyone will tell you that I'm right and you're wrong. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm sure you are, but... Yeah, it's not a big deal. Like, don't you think we should raise awareness for hepatitis? Well, I don't think you should change my street name. Why not? To hepatitis. I mean, what's hill even mean? It means we live in on Hill Drive. It's the, it's the area we live in. I know, we but it, it, it's a dumb name. Like, it doesn't even make any sense. What's mean? It's a dumb name. It's the history of this area. Oh, okay, well... Where are you from? Hepatitis is a present-day problem, so screw history, right? Excuse me? I'm just saying, like, like who cares? But, like, Did I don't... you say screw history? Yeah, because w this is a present-day problem. It's something we all need to be aware of and deal with, and... Like, what, what do you want to see people die? we we got to raise awareness for hepatitis. And what is your position in the street department? Uh, I'm just uh, one of the workers here. I, I do a lot of the street work myself and answer the phones and just a standard employee here. But, I mean, you don't need to get all snippy with me. I'm, I'm just letting you know. Well, you're the one that's, that, that's uh, giving your opinions on street names and why we should have it. Well, so are you. You're like, eh, history, eh. I'm just letting you know, like, we, it, we're doing sponsors now. Thanks for your info. Oh, you're welcome. Finally, somebody's taking hepatitis seriously. Hello. Hello, Barbara. Yeah, hi. Hi there. This is Mr. Dabalina from the County Street Department. Street Department? Yep. Okay. What you doing? 
I'm sorry, are you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. Okay, um, how, how can I help you? Uh, what you doing? I'm sorry, I, I'm not understanding what you're saying. Oh, no, I was asking what you doing. I was just, uh, you know, breaking the ice, making conversation. That's all. Okay, and who is this, please? Uh, this is Mr. Dabalina. I'm from the street department. I actually needed to let you know we're going to be changing the name of your street on September 1st. Uh, is this a joke? No, no, I wouldn't kid around about this. Uh, and you're going to be changing the name? Yeah, yeah, you're going to live at 216 Fake Street. But we're going to change 216. your... 216. Yeah, 216 what? Uh, it's Fake Street, F-A-K-E Street. But we're going to change your, uh, we're going to change your house number to 123. So you'll be living. Yeah, I think what? This must be some kind of joke. So I'm no. going to hang up now. No, I wouldn't joke about this, ma'am. This is the street department. I, I, what's your credential? Don't understand. Uh, my employee number is one two three four. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Hello, this is John Wingate. Hey, Mr. Wingate. It's Mr. Dabalina from the street department. Yep. Yeah? Uh, down in County, right? Correct, yeah. Yeah, I'm just, I'm calling to let you know we're changing the name of your street. On September 1st, you're going to have a new street name and a new why house. You, yeah, why are you changing it? Uh, we're just updating things. We're making things more modern. More modern? Correct, yeah. South away and you're making it more modern? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> what's mean? Nobody knows what means well sure they do all the trees up there are fine oh well see now now i don't I, now i know i guess i don't but, i don't uh i don't know why you would change that uh, without uh consulting all the people on the street well that's what i'm doing i'm calling up everyone in the street right now to let them know we're going to be changing the name of your street and we're also updating your house numbers and you're going to live at one two three fake street one, two, three, what? Fake Street. F-A-K-E. Come on. <laughs> okay, who, do, who do you work Who do you work with at, at down in County? I, I'm in the street department. I work with Chris and Steve. This is Mr. Dabalina. Wow. Look, I, I didn't Can call. I didn't, I didn't call to like try and convince you. I don't know why you guys are being so weird and paranoid about this. I'm just letting you know. On September 1st, they're going to change the street signs, and you're going to live on Fake Street. Well, where did you come up with that? Where did you come up with that name? Fake S A K E. Where did, where did no, you it, get that it's, from? It's Fake Street. F. F like fake Ford. Street? Yeah, Fake F A K E. Fake Street. <laughs> you're so full of crap. <laughs> your your face is full of crap. Who who is it? Is this somebody I know playing a joke on me? No, I'm. This is Mr. Dabalina. I'm from the street department. I don't like. What's your problem? Are you guys on drugs? No, I think you're on drugs, Mister. <laughs> I'm not you're on not drugs. Changing, you're not changing. You're not changing. I'm I'm not allowed to use drugs anymore. Yeah. Okay. Have fun. Ever since Get the incident. Else. Well, that didn't work. UK Ted, that was UK Ted's idea. He suggested Fake Street, Wrong Way, and Isis Avenue. Oh, man, I should do Isis Avenue. I'm definitely coming back to this list and telling more people that their street names are being changed because this is pretty much the best idea since telling people that I was having dreams about them, which I also need to do again soon. Let's see what else we have in here. Radio Shack Memorial Drive. O.J. Simpson Drive, Roseanne Bar Avenue. Holy crap, Rick, you have a lot of ideas in here. Blockbuster Street, Twat Stone Terrace, Twat Waffle Way. That one's from Tara. Kenny Loggins Court. You know, if you're someone that does prank calls and you want to try some of these out, you should do this. You should go to the PLA Facebook group, facebook.com slash groups slash PLA, and find this thread. Just go to the search bar and search for street names and you should do this on your show you should make some calls with these ideas 
And if you have one that turns out really good, you should send it to me. Maybe I'll play it on a future show. Jack Heliquin says Sex Offender Street, Bukaki Drive, Shit Street, Atheist Road, Racism Avenue, Sodomy Lane. Oh man, this just goes on forever. Transgender Trail, Prank Call Road. I don't think anyone would believe that, but I love that idea. That's a good one, Megan. Syphilis Circle, Fidel Castro Boulevard, White People Boulevard. Yeah, tons of good... I'm never going to get to all of these. So everybody else should be doing this too. Please, everybody, try this idea. I beg you. These need to be done. These are great ideas. Wayne Gacy Avenue, Queeferton Way, Big Gay Street. All right, let's do some voicemails. Hi, RBCP. Hi. I'm Resident Germ. I'm, I think I'm the only West Virginia listener you have. Yeah, right. I just want to let you know that I bought a t-shirt. Why do you think on that? On shirt or whatever the hell it's called. That shit is expensive, man. 25 fucking dollars for a premium t-shirt. Sorry. I better be good. Are they that much? No, yeah, you don't buy the premium ones. I used to only put the cheap ones in there. They were, I don't know, 12 or $13. And everyone's saying I should get the premium ones because I guess they come in different colors and they're a better material. I've bought the premium ones and I've bought the regular ones and I don't see the difference as far as the fabric goes and the print quality. So it's not my fault if you pick the wrong one. Pick the cheap one, you big dummy. Oh, that's all I'm saying. I, I don't put, I don't. Sorry, that was me. I, I don't mean support that. you on Patreon, but I buy shit from you every once in a while. So, uh, thanks. Enjoy your commission off of it. I think you, the spreadsheet gives you a quarter for every T-shirt that you sell, or something yeah, like that. Yeah, maybe fifty cents on those premiums. Towards the, uh, paying off the legal bill or whatever. Yeah, but uh, like your show, Ben. Thanks. See you later. Thank you. Thanks for the quarter. Hi, Brad. Just calling in from New Orleans, Louisiana. And, Hello. Uh, you haven't done a call like this in a while, but every now and then when you do a call, um, every recipient will ask for the manager. And one of the things that you do is you say something like, oh, like the manager is in jail today, or the manager is, you know, on, you know, in the bathroom or whatever. Yeah. It's really funny. Cause you normally expect. Well, I got those a lot more when I was doing the things where I was tricking companies out of customer information and then talking to the customer as the store but i don't really do those anymore that's the reason i haven't done the manager trick in a while but yes i agree i definitely should be doing more of these the manager's not in not in when you today. guys give me you know, lists ending today just make it makes it way funnier anyway yeah well if you ever do a call like that again i always like saying the managers at the video store returning some videos I'm for a manager. it's my favorite one i thought it would be funny to or he's out using the payphone out in the parking lot <laughs> Is the man you just say to them that oh the manager is on crack today? You yeah, know, like crack like the drug or yes the manager is high on meth today. Anyway, this little suggestion. Next time, practice. I can't bother the manager because there's a sock on the door. Be rad. Ah, hey. hey man, it's Alaska Jack. Hey Alaska hey, Jack. Hey, that's kind of a cool idea. I thought you know you might enjoy. Okay. You know, like the hang up the phone thing is a great plan B when like whatever you know, deal you were trying to do doesn't work out, you know, you can just throw something out there at the last hitch, like, you know, yeah. similar to hang up the phone. This one could be like, hey, I saw your ad as a, a relaxation therapist scribbled here in the men's room at Joe's Tavern, and, uh, you know, I just thought I'd call and uh, pay for your business or something. You know, just, just tell them, like, basically that you uh, called their number from an advertisement on the bathroom wall for, you know, whatever sex act or, yeah, you know, for a good time thing, call. whatever, you know, but uh, I figured that might be kind of cool. Okay. I'll be do funny. It. You could do like a, a side piece and call it uh, getting plowed in the snow. But yeah, I'm... I don't know. But yeah, man, you're doing well. And uh, enough of that fantasy shit, dreams and, uh, Invisible people, you know, nobody what? buys that. Or Come on. It or finds it Dreams, those were great. I know the invisible thing was kind of ridiculous, but I love the dream idea. Okay. All right, buddy. All right. Uh, Bye. Enjoy. All right. Whatever time you have left. Bye. Today. Just hang up. Hang up, the, hang up the phone. That's the last voicemail. There's hardly any voicemails today. But that's okay. I think I did way too much show today. Like, I, I did three hours. I didn't think that much was working out. And I was trying to delete things as they didn't work out so I wouldn't have to do as much editing. But then I look at the show and the show file is still three hours long. I don't know how long today's show is going to be. I think it's going to be kind of long, though. Maybe. Or maybe after I get done editing, it'll be 30 minutes long. I don't know. All I know is it's getting really hot up here. So I need to finish this up. 
put all these files on my laptop and go downstairs. Get the fuck out of the attic. It's getting hot up here. It's way too hot up here for my delicate body and skin and stuff. So thank you once again, the Antichrist, Julian J. Nagler, Six Week Tenure, and Fun Society Arcade for sponsoring today's show. If you would like to be a supporter of the show, I would really appreciate it. You can do that by going to patreon.com slash phone losers. Being a supporter gives you access to the gigantic archive of Hobosodes, over a hundred shows now of stuff that you haven't heard on this show. Well, except for that little clip I played on today's show. You know, the whoopee, whoopee, whoopee lady. But other than that, a bunch of pranks, a bunch of extra material and videos. Did you guys know that the dream episode that I did the other night, did you know there's a video for that show? You'd know that if you were on the Patreon. So please support the show on patreon.com slash phone losers. Thanks for listening, everyone. See you next time. I don't want to live at Burger King Road.